There are certain conventions of crossword puzzles in terms of symmetry, not to have any words that are shorter than three letters. You sit down with a blank grid and you start filling in and you build around them. And part of that is also filling in the black squares so that once you've done one word and then the black squares around it, you have to find the corresponding symmetrical part of the puzzle and do the same thing. You had to have pairs of uh, word lengths, a seven letter word here, you have to have a seven letter word down below. Writing the clues is an art in and of itself. They're not too complicated, so no one will understand it, not too obvious, but you want to have it a little bit challenging, a little bit of maybe a pun or, or a little play on word. Sometimes when I finish a puzzle, I'm both very satisfied, but I'm also, oh, it's done, you know, <laughs> I need another one. But you do want to have that, that feeling that you've, you've accomplished that, and it, it would be very frustrating if you made puzzles impossible to solve. There's something therapeutic about it sitting there, it's enjoyable, you can do it anywhere, you could be on a hammock, you could be in a diner. Having that kind of interaction with the puzzle as opposed to sitting on a computer and, and typing in the clues. I'd still rather that the puzzles exist in general, that, that we don't lose the art of crossword puzzles, but there is something very special about doing it uh, yourself on paper. Mm -hmm.